in for him. Save the story. I don't know why I didn't save. <laughs> so I hit a button. Why is it so bright? Huh? What the? Where the hell are we? It was just the whole entire city just a second ago. Look, there's some kind of screen. Is this a movie theater? Why are we the only ones here? It's kind of creepy. Hmm, I genuinely have no idea what's going on. First we were in Mementos, then we ended up in some city, now a movie theater? Hey, our clothes are back to normal. Oh, you're right. Why only me? What's going on here? Well, fine. If all your clothes have returned to normal... And if we're truly still in the cognitive world, then we aren't seen as a threat here. Mm. Although it seems we can't use the meta nav in here either. You seem to be somewhere from that somewhere different from that city, but still in a bizarre situation. Hey, wait a sec! Where are Makoto and Haru? Huh? Huh? They're right here. Wait, they're not here! Could it be that we were separated? Holy shit, for real? We have to find them! They might still be in that place we just were! But how do we go back? We don't even know how we arrived here in the first place. Wait. Hold on, let's all calm down. Maybe somewhere within this building. There's a door right over there. Why don't we try exploring beyond this room first? Yeah, sorry, all of this has got me worked up. I have plenty of comments on all of this, but finding Karu and Makoto comes first. That's right. So to In that case, let's get going. Stay on your toes, everyone. The concession stand. Popcorn and movie memorabilia lined the storefront. This looks delicious. No eating without permission, got it? Maybe Haru and Makoto are here? No, of course not. Let's keep looking. There's a ticket station here. Looks like it's functional. Wonder what sort of tickets it prints. We may be able to find out if we insert some money into it. Not that I have any on me. Hmm. Looks like there's no clues here. Let's keep moving. The 
sign on the door says, Authorized personnel only. The door won't budge. Authorized personnel only, eh? I guess it's only natural that the door is locked then. I could flex my lock picking skills here. But finding Makoto and Haru is more important right now. Let's get back to the search. The projection room. Whoa, I've never been in a projection room before. Is this huge thing a projector? Hey, don't go messing with that. Complex devices like projectors are delicate. This genuinely creeped me out, by the way. Cryptic black object. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Shadow. Is it a shadow? It's suspicious, but it doesn't seem to be an enemy. What is this thing? Let's try talking to it. Well, in that case, where are its ears? If we're loud enough, wanna get the gist of what we're saying? Hello! Can you hear me? I don't think shouting at something that doesn't have ears, like, helps at all. More or less, speaking very slowly with intent is an easier way of talking to something that cannot hear you. It's not reacting. Maybe it can't hear us? Ryuji! There's nothing left except to try touching it. Ryuji! Why me? Well, fine. Are you guys sure it's okay for me to be doing this? Whoa! It's super spongy. Well, we've learned that it's elastic, but it appears to be non communicative. As non communicative as well. It doesn't speak or move or react to us at all. Perhaps this is some kind of doll. Oh, okay. It's just a doll, huh? It's way too big, though. At least make it one seventh scale. Well, the ladies aren't here, so let's keep searching. It's no use. They're not here at all. We even found a whole row of doors that won't open. What's going on here? It's as if we've been spirited away. This whole place is a true mystery. All signs do point to this being a movie theater, but something still feels off. We haven't found a trace of anyone else here. Seriously, how the hell did we end up here? Maybe through the side? True, it felt more like a horizontal displacement than a vertical one. Yeah, that's why. Where 
Uh, but from where? Oi, just go to the Hey everybody, come here for a second. Morgana, something found. Maybe Morgana found something. Let's go over there, Akio. Yeah? Morgana, what's up? What is it, Morgana? You found some kind of clue? Take a look at this door. What about it? I'm surprised you didn't notice this earlier. It appears to be an exit, but there are multiple thick chains on the door. The chains are held on with four different padlocks. There's a police cuff one. There's one that has like flowers and a musical note. There's one that had like some sort of dinosaur. And then the other one looks like a high tech one. The hell is this? Such redundant security. Wait, doesn't this mean we're trapped in here? Abduction and confinement confirmed! Hey Morgana, can't you pick them open? I gave it a shot, but it was useless. The keyholes aren't shaped for any ordinary keys. If we did something about them, I bet we could get out of here. So Yeah. Hey, Akio, isn't there anything we can do? Uh let's force it open. The other two sound way less. <laughs> Damn it, this sucks. Won't budge one bit. Hmm. So brute force won't work. Could we perhaps look for the keys? I already looked, but couldn't even find them. Or anything else, not even a mouse. While we're at it, how'd it go on your end? Any sign of Makoto or Haru? Not at all! We looked everywhere too! We didn't see a single clue! Maybe it's just a mouse. Since the accents chained up, it's doubtful they made it outside. What to do? Hey, why don't we try heading back to where we first woke up? Maybe they've turned up there since we started poking around here. Yeah, Lady Anne has a point, and there's no use worrying about it out here. Alright, let's head back. This place is just as creepy as last time. I feel as if a spirit could appear at any moment. Cut it out, Inari! Hey, someone's in there! Did I truly sense a spirit? Who the hell are you two? Stay on guard. Would you please stop that? You're frightening Hikari-san. They're not enemies? Seems as much. We apologize for startling you two. And you are? My name is Nagi. 
I am the acting curator of this movie theater. Shihaini? A curator? So this theater isn't really abandoned? Could it be that you've all been trapped here as well? As well, do you mean the same thing has happened to you two? I can't believe it, but it was a sudden event. Yes, it seems unbelievable, but it happened in the blink of an eye. When I came to, all of the customers had disappeared, and the entrance was barred. I quickly began searching the theater, and then found this customer, Hikari-san. I was the owner of the owner. Due to my responsibility as curator, curator, I've taken her under my care. Huh? Oh, 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 Yeah, wait, huh? You're, uh, you're shaking a lot. Shock no se de shoka. Kanojo, he do go be a tail. Yes, it's likely from the shock. She's awfully frightened. Scosi demo who hung on the way about to mutte. What aximo so van it's eating us. I've remained by her side in hopes of staving off some of her anxiety. Oh, that's right. Hey, did you happen to see Haru and Makoto anywhere? They're our friends, but we got separated on the way here. So we're looking for them now. You're... Mm-hmm. Have you seen them? We've looked everywhere, but we can't find them. What do your friends look like? Could you provide us with descriptions or perhaps even photos? Uh, well, one's all spiky, and the other one's got an axe? Ah, uh, so Yusuke, you Oh, I know. Yusuke, could you sketch them real quick? I could if I had some supplies. Very well. I'll fetch you some suitable materials. Like this. They look like this. Wow, that's so them! Oh, these two. If I recall correctly, they were in the movie. Isn't that right, Hikari-san? You know them! Kari is whispering to Nagi. What's with the whispering? She could just tell us herself, right, Akio? She's just being careful. <laughs> Can't be helped. After all, we've got someone who looks like a common thug. Oh, wait. Blah, blah, blah. Let me try that again. It can't be helped. After all, we've got someone with us who looks like a common thug. Who are you calling a thug? Talking cat's way weirder than me. Don't call me weird. But you did 
didn't deny the cat. Oh, oh, it looks like they're ready to share. Just as I thought, both Hikari san and I have seen your friends. We saw them in the movie, just like the rest of you. Huh? What do you mean, in the movie? Those two were originally with your group, correct? Oh, well, yeah, they were, but. The in the movie part is what makes no sense. I'll leave that all for later. So, what exactly happened with those two? Kamoshi Dauman, do you to Jojin Butsuni, to write it They've been captured by a character called Kamoshida Man. Ka Kamoshida Man? Uh, Kamoshida Man? Kamoshida te. Eh? Do you go to? Wait, Kamoshida? What's going on here? Hmm? Hmm, that sound. It's starting again. まだ始まるのね。え、始まるって何がだ。ウォッツ When the harmony of the city is disturbed, an absolute hero appears. <laughs> Kamoshida man. Astoundingly powerful and wholly invincible! Kamoshida Man is the justice incarnate, and justice itself is Kamoshida Man! This is the perfect society! Justice rules and must be obeyed by all! However, a wicked miscreant voice is discontent for our shining salvation. What an ingrate! Defying the hero of justice is unforgivable. Can Kamoshida Man defeat the evil that opposes righteousness? The absolute hero, Kamoshida Man, now playing. Okay. <laughs> so ridiculous. So that was totally Kamoshida, right? There's no way he's a hero of justice. Who is this Kamoshida that you speak of? Do you all know him? Ah, uh, yeah, he's a former teacher at our school. Basically, he's an effing criminal scumbag. But why is Kamoshida in that movie? What's up with that goofy costume? That trailer made him out to be the protagonist. Is he in any of the other films here? I have no idea. The movie you just previewed has been the only one playing all this time. 
What do you mean? It's truly odd. Ever since the anomaly occurred, only that movie has been playing in here. Are you aware of the strange projectionist currently in the projection room? Mosia, Bukimina Kuroi Butai no Kotoka, Oyomoyon Steel. I don't suppose you mean that eerie black object, the one that's all spongy. That's the projectionist? It's not some doll? It's alive? We just call him that since he plays the films, but we've no idea who or what he may truly be. That bizarre being appeared in the projection room after the anomaly struck this theater. What's we know not his intentions, only that he continues to play the same film, over and over. He scares me. I don't want to get near him. For the time being, we've been calling him Do. Do? King Do no Do? Do? Like cookie dough Do? No, it comes from John Doe. John John who? Is that some kind of foreigner? You know anyone with that name, Akio? It's just a placeholder name. That's right. I'm surprised you knew. Nihongo it's the name used for unidentified male corpse. Primarily in police investigations and autopsies. Has Doe done anything else besides screening that movie? No, nothing at all. He doesn't even react when we speak to him. He's a wholly mysterious oddity. We try our best not to interact with him. It reminds me of how I used to be. Hmm? Did you say something, Futaba? Oh, um, Oh, nah, it's nothing. But in the movie Doe's playing, why is Kamoshida in it at all? Let alone in the starring role. Is there some kind of connection between Doe and Kamoshida? Or perhaps it's a connection between this theater and Kamoshida. Please wait a moment. It seems that you've misunderstood. Anatatigayaste Karanano. Kamoshida man to you ega ninatanoa. Only since you've all arrived here has this movie been one entitled. Ah, blah, blah. Only since you've all arrived here has the movie become this one entitled Kamoshida man. Not become. Before your arrival, the movie playing in here was not titled Kamoshida Man. Wait, what? Then Kamoshida wasn't originally the star? The film's plot was the same. But the face and the name of the hero were entirely different. How could a movie character suddenly change like that, though? So all of these strange events, including the adaptive film, 
are tied to the anomaly. You're own leaping out of the movie as well. This has been an unending series of surprises. Huh? What did you just say? We leapt out of the film. Yes, you all suddenly popped out of the theater screen. Wait, wait. How does that make any sense? But you did indeed appear from the screen. Kari san, you witnessed it too, no? So the Watakstachi, Udoritishimate, Avatemio Kakistano. It was such a shock to us that we hurriedly hide ourselves amongst the seats. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's seriously impossible to just pass through a movie screen like. and curiouser. Ryuji's hand passed right through the movie screen. My hand? My hand like went into the screen. That really happened, right? This is absolutely unbelievable. Hold on a sec. If Makoto and Haru were with us inside the movie year earlier, does that mean we left them behind in that place on the other side of the screen? I'm afraid that appears to be the case. Basically, if we wanted to rescue them, our only option is to go back inside the phone. We gotta go save him, right, Akio? Of course we do. Alright then, let's just get to. Wait, are we supposed to just jump in? Nagisa. Oh, What's that? She's whispering to Nagi again. Hikari-san is terribly worried about your safety. Since it's dangerous inside the movie, she thinks it may be safer for you to stay here. Thanks for the warning, but that danger only makes us more worried about them. Yeah, we have to get in there ASAP to for our friends. Huh? For your friends? But friends are Hikori? Hikari? Okay. So, Okay, everybody, brace yourselves. We're jumping in. Three, two, one. What? What? Whoa, what up now? Uh. Um, please wait a second. Akari is consulting with Nagi about something. Is that okay? Yes, I understand. Hikari-san is still worried about you. So she asked me to lend you my help. Do you have anything in mind that could be benefit us? 
Yes. Nagi's headed toward the concession stand. If she's gonna help us, then let's see what she's got she's up to before we get back to the movie. Huh? Hmm? Uh, what the hell is this? The Hakamushidaman sign? I wasn't here earlier, right? Did this pop up while we were watching the Kamoshidaman trailer? So yeba. Was it set up by that John Doe? Remember what Nagi said? She said the movie's details changed when we came to this place. So perhaps... There could be a correlation, but I don't think we can reach an answer at this point, no matter how long we hypothesize. That's true. Nagi-san's waiting for us at the concession stand anyway. Let's head over there. The concession stand. Would the merchandise here be of any use to you? Since the anomaly occurred, the stock here appears to have changed quite a bit. It seems like equipment and items can be purchased and sold at this concession stand. We'll also be able to store and retrieve items here. Well, this will be really helpful, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. We should prep here before heading into the movie. After all, we could attack by those we could get attacked by those weird guys again. The cops are one thing, but that huge one, what the hell is that giant bird-like thing? Giant bird-like thing is gonna be too much effort to say every time you near one. We name it. Okay, how about chicken dude? Too straightforward and super lame. Then you name it. Huh? Me? Um. Chicky peep peep? Why'd you make it sound cute? Considering how fiercely it pursued us, I'd name it the Raging Avian Sent from Hell. And we'll just ignore Inari. Since it's a monster in a movie, why not name it something movie related? Movie related, huh? I really don't know all that much about him. Cinema. Movie. Cinema. Movie. A movie monster? Film of Obscurity Antandu. Perhaps something like Film Obscurity Antandu? Huh? Wait, what? Filmio Obscurite? Is that some kind of tongue twister? Why French, though? Well, movies originated in France. It's not bad, but it's too long. I feel like my tongue will get all fired up or tied up. Let's see, why don't we abbreviate that to FOE? Mmm, agreed! I'll be able to say that without biting my tongue, too! Hey, are you cool with us calling that strong, weird enemy an FOE? Chicky Pee Pee is way better. <laughs> uh, please forget I ever said that. 
Let's just go with FOE. Tonikaku, FOE, or Tewai. I didn't even tell Shinai Hoga Yosasoda. No matter the name, that FOE is powerful. It'd be best for us to avoid meddling with it. Shikashi, so much more. Naze Boktashiga, what even that? Why are we being pursued in the first place? Ah, so you know, Ato Ato. Makoto to Haro, Sakas no Sakidaro. Who cares? We'll figure that out later. Finding Makoto and Haru comes first, yeah? Sorry, it's just a bad habit of mine. What with being a detective and all. Well, let's get back to that freaky screen. Hold on, Futaba. Can you navigate us from outside the movie? Right, um, I think I can manage. Wait, we can't just leave Futaba here by herself? We won't. I've decided to stay behind too. I want to investigate this theater and see if I can gather some useful intel. Useful? What sort of intel? Didn't we already look everywhere we could? Mina, Everyone, can I talk to you with you for a sec? What's going on? Why the whispering? It's about Nagi and Hikari. They've been nice to us, but we've only just met. The best strategy right now would be to investigate whether or not they've been they're being honest with us. I see, you have a point. So for now, you guys go check out inside the movie. Got that, Akio? Leave it to us. Yes, get there, Dana. All right, that's settled. We'll leave the remainder of the movie theater to you. So, uh, Nagi san, Hikari, we're gonna and Futaba are gonna stick around here. That's no problem for us, but. You're really going in there. Even though it's dangerous. Saki mo itta kedo sa. Nakama ga abunai kara koso. Tasuke ni ikun da yo. Well, it looks like I said before. Our friends are in the. Blah 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 blah. blah. Three, two, one. Well, it's like I said before. Our friends are the ones in danger, so we gotta rescue them. Atari mai da na. It's what friends do, yeah. Ma, yeah. Minna, iko ze. Eh. Anyways, let's get going, guys. We're counting on you, but don't go too far in there. Come back if there's an issue. Okay, you be safe too, Morgana. Wait. Is there something else? Here. This popcorn. Hikari is offering popcorn to me. Could that be for us? Take it with you. Thank you. Popcorn! Popcorn that is seasoned with salt. Restore 30 HP, one ally. Well then, we should begin our mission. Her mission? Hey, uh, I've been wondering. If we go back inside the movie, we'll most likely transform again, right? Meaning, they'll watch us turn into the Phantom Thieves? Huh? The Phantom Thieves? <laughs> Shit, she figured us out already! 
Oh, well, um, about the Phantom Thieves thing. Is that from a recent criminal case? Or perhaps some new picturesque crime biopic I've yet to hear of? I don't get it either. Seriously? You two don't know about the Phantom Thieves? I'm blown away over here. I'm sorry, I don't keep up with current events. That goes for Kari-san as well, apparently. Quit pitching a fit about it. You don't want them to know. Speaking of the Phantom Thieves, there is one thing I'm rather curious about. Were the costumes and special effects in the movie cosplay related? Or some similar situation? She totally saw everything. About that, Nagi-san, we're not certain ourselves. While we are inside the movie, we somehow harness this power called a persona. It may be similar situation to how the hero in the movie was altered to become Kamoshidaman. Oh, he really sold that! My, is that so? So many perplexing developments. It'll take some time for me to process all of this. It seems we have a great deal of investigation ahead of us. Let's hurry back to the theater. Alright, so we can go to the menu screen and stuff here. We can go to the shop and buy stuff. Which I am definitely doing. For sure. Minasama? Ah, oh, you're here. May I have a moment of your time? I noticed something curious amongst the merchandise and I wish to tell you about it. Oh yeah? Let me see it! Hi. Of course. It's called a Go Home. The description lists it as an item to return to the theater. Perhaps it could be of use. If it pleases you, by all the means, take one. It's on the house. Go home. Instantly teleports user to safety. Escape from the current labyrinth. Mozzie? Huh? So this will bring us back to the theater? Securing an escape route is important. Maybe best to have one on hand before we head out. <laughs> If you find it useful, please consider purchasing them from here on in. Alright, so... I am going to buy... Armor. And we are definitely going to buy a really good armor... For the main character. And... I also want to buy a good armor for... Probably Ryuji. Maybe, maybe not. See, Ryuji actually has more health. I'm, I'm gonna buy it for her. Okay. Just some spare cash, but it's fine. Um, I don't need that. And the items we can buy right now are a go home, popcorn, gutsy fries. Clean soda, but I don't think we're gonna need that. We are mostly just gonna go in there real quick and back out. So. Go ahead and save. Alright. Good. I was worried about having any crashes or something happen before I could save. But this is a good place to stop. I'm probably gonna divide this episode up into two parts. Probably one where I should have saved the first time, and then right here. 
Um, thank you guys so much for watching this Let's Play of Persona Q2 ris on Risky. And no deaths yet, but that's okay. We will definitely have some deaths coming up. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.